What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, and today I got exciting news for you. After what seems like years of waiting, Rocket League finally made its way to Mac OS X and Linux today. Or, technically yesterday, September 8th, 2016. Today's September 9th, 2016. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Let's take a look at Rocket League. So, Rocket League is a game made by Psyonix. It's a car game that you play soccer with. That might sound a bit, uh, whatever, <laughs> but it is uh, definitely, definitely super amounts of fun. I, I, I just, you're not gonna find too many people who've played this game who won't say that this game is super amounts of fun. Uh, it's a weird formula that actually works. Um, in case you didn't know, a quick backstory: the game was originally developed for PC and PlayStation 4, and then all of a sudden it blew up seemingly overnight. Before you knew it, everybody was like, "What's Rocket League? What's Rocket League? What's Rocket League? Got to play it!" Everybody's playing Rocket League. So when they announced that it was going to come out on Linux, you know, people got excited. We were waiting. I bought the game in anticipation, thinking it was coming out on Linux, and then it never came out on Linux. Six months later, they were like, "Well, we're still working on the port." one year later they're like yeah we got a port for you then it came out for xbox and they're like yeah we're still working on that almost seems like i, I think it's been almost two years but I'm, I'm not quite sure maybe it's been a year doesn't matter it's been a long time coming but we finally got a port and the port seems to have been done by ryan gordon also known as Iclis, and timothy Bissett. you can pretty much expect quality work from this is i guess contracted but still would be considered in-house port Either way, the game runs pretty damn well. Let's just take a look at the performance and the hardware requirements real quick. According to uh, Psyonix, the game as a minimum requires a 2 gig dual core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and really old NVIDIA 8800 or ATI 2900, which I at that point would assume that means any graphics card basically. Broadband internet connection, because you know it's multiplayer is where it's at on this game, and 5 gigs of available hard disk space. Or the recommended spec is pretty much the same. You need a quad core or 4 gig RAM, NVIDIA 260 or ATI 5850. So basically still any graphics card known to man. Oh, and also they do additionally note that you should use a gamepad or controller and I will co-sign that and back that up wholly. I've tried playing this game with the keyboard and mouse and to me it's just, it's doable, but it's just not nowhere near as fun. You really want to use the, in my opinion, the Xbox 360 controller. I'm pretty sure that the Steam controller works fine, but in my personal experience, the Xbox 360 controller is what this game was pretty much made for. Maybe it was made for the PlayStation controller because that's what it did come out on first. But either way, the twin stick action is where it's really at. Well, if you play this game, get the controller out your drawer and dust it off. Now, as I said, this game is a beta currently. So what that means is that there is some issues. Some people say that when you try to exit a game, it pretty much crashes to the desktop. Also, when you try to load uh, some of the maps, I think they're called Rocket Lab maps, or they're, they're basically maps that look like Tron maps to me. Those maps don't seem to work, but luckily those maps are non-essential to the core gameplay. So you can still have plenty of fun playing the game without those maps. There were some random crashes also, but pretty much for the most part, you played the game without any issue. I mean, at the end of the day, I would have to say that this game is excellent. You have plenty of game modes, there's plenty of DLC, there's plenty of like buyable cards. You can actually uh, buy extra cards in game and extra cosmetic type stuff like flags and stuff. There's actually basketball, car basketball, I guess it's called. Then there's what you call modifiers so you can make the game a little more interesting. I guess it's DLC or it's free DLC. DLC called Rumble, which is basically gives you a bunch of uh, modifiers like you get you get a boxing glove so you can knock people out or a magnetic thing so you can actually uh, have the ball be attracted to your car. That That's the Rumble mode, which is also a good amount of fun for a little while. There, there's just tons of content in this game. Not only is the game itself fun, but there's just stupid amounts of content. The game is multiplayer, as I said, and it is compatible with Windows. And not only is it compatible with Windows, but it's also compatible with PlayStation 4. I'm not entirely sure it's compatible with the uh, Xbox players, but I would assume that it is. If I do find out, I will let you guys know. At the end of the day, I cannot recommend Rocket League enough. If you play on Linux, I don't care if you play on Linux, PlayStation, Xbox, or Windows, this game at $20 is a must buy. 
that's more than a fair price for a game that will give you literally hundreds of hours worth of fun if you so choose currently on sale as the make as of the time of this video which at 25 percent off makes it 15 dollars in u.s monies you can jump on that you can also you know of course uh humble bundle sells the game and i'm sure there's other sites that sell the game at sale price if you want to keep your eye out for a sale that's a quick look at the rocket league this has been a long time coming and i am um, was actually surprised that it still came there's been plenty of games that said they were coming to linux and just didn't make their way i'm looking at you batman i'm looking at you witcher 3 still waiting but it's nice to see that this got pushed out so check the game out rocket league made by psionix $14.99 currently and hit the thumbs up for rocket league man just hit that thumbs up for rocket league subscribe for more linux content this is osiris pc pimp and I'm out.